Hello friends of Granola Entertainment. What you are about to see is uh, a collaboration that we wanted to do for a long time and uh, finally we had time. Uh, Squirrel or Paul and I went into a session and uh, we're gonna show you the new uh, the new map, the just the uh, free DLC for uh, Mud Runners. And uh, it's going to be uh, it's going to be fun. Pain and agony times ten. This is part one of many. Um, let us know in the comments below what you think. If you want to see more, and uh, hit the like button if you want to. So, yeah, let's get rolling. Bingo! And here we go in the valley. One three one. Wait, it's put the nine six nine there as well. Yeah, I, I'm in the, for whatever reason, I'm in the 969. Okay, so you could jump into the big, big wall and start moving that, I guess. Oh, wow. Those trailers. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna. At the change. back, it says there's a garage trailer. Yeah. And I think <laughs> you've already got. <laughs> Did you notice the trailer that's on this thing? Yeah, the, the huge container. What's it got in it? That's the that's the garage point. Okay. Can I can I hold one of those with this thing or is that not gonna work? I guess it's not gonna work. <laughs> Why what? are you driving a ghost? Um because I'm still in your uh, in your in your other vehicle. As soon as I get out of here, if I ever get out of here. <laughs> oh there you go. Oh my god. Oh it 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 just burns uh 49 liters per, hour, per minute. 49 liters? <laughs> well, luckily you've got a fuel point down the road, though. Yeah, I'm going to need it, too. Well, let's, let's make a little plan here. So we've got a fuel station there. Are you full on fuel or not? Uh, I was when I started, yes. Now I okay. <laughs> I burned in this short time, I burned uh, 16 liters. Oh, my God. Okay, well, let's try and go up the left side, get those two watch points done and the waypoint done. <clears throat> I think I'm going to stay behind you because I might bo <laughs> I might slow you down. Yeah, if we can get that to the garage points, the top left. How many garage points are in that? Um, how do I see that? Uh, repair kit, garage semi trailer. Hmm. Oh, refuel? Apparently I can refuel with that thing. Oh, you know what? This is a mobile garage. This thing refuels and repairs. Really? Wow, that's OP. So wait a minute, that doesn't actually have garage points in it. Uh, well, that's what I'm not sure about now anymore. But it should winch. though. In the world that I just connect to. So I'm just trying to work out what I can do with this truck. I guess I need to get it to the garage in order to reconfigure it. Mm -hmm. I, I can't actually get these. I can't haul this. Oh, you can't? I don't know. Well, I, do I you, don't think so. Do you want me to hook up to those? Because I don't think we need a mobile garage with us. I, I don't know. Yeah, I think it it might be better if we take the garage trailer, if you want to haul that instead. I don't know, you, you could drag that further up the map, baby. Yeah, and just take have it... Take it up to the fuel station. I'll go scouting ahead. Okay. I'll go scout. You drag that thing up to the fuel station. <laughs> I'm dragging. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this thing is... Wow. This is something else. You won't... I mean, once you stop hauling that thing, you won't burn 47 liters. No. I'm burning like four and I've got all-wheel drive going. Yeah, mine went down now to 33. So it's not necessarily something you want to take on, on, on a shopping trip on Sunday. Why, why don't you head right down that dirt track and see if you can find a good place to put the mobile garage for us 
and I'll go, I'll take the left side, you go down the right road and see where that goes, because we need to unlock the map a little bit. Mm hmm Unless you need to refuel. Well, I can refuel myself, apparently, so... Where's the fuel coming from, then? <laughs> At that... Hmm... <laughs> That's a good question. Maybe we have a little yeah. refinery in the back, I don't know. But almost makes but sense with this thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just from the start, and you know how how close we are still from the start point. I pay, I I burned fifty liters at this point. That is that is insane. Uh huh. There's a lot of little rocks around. Well, interestingly enough, the little rocks don't really slow me down anymore. No, this thing's doing okay. Okay, I I activated diff lock now. Now we are burning a constant 49. I'll well, see where you get going down that road. Let me just have a look where you are. Yeah, maybe at the end of the road though. I mean, there's a log kiosk. At the end of the road, you're going to approach the river. A mobile garage there is... is kind of in the middle of the map really so it's not mm -hmm. not a bad place to well find. i just hope that i'm right and this thing works really as a mobile garage but i can refuel with it and repair so you would think sounds like it that's an interesting concept because on some of those maps you could definitely use them So that question you asked me earlier, mm -hmm. um, oh, the, about how did I get into simulation games, mm -hmm. was it your community that asked you that? Well, we, we, yeah, we were talking yesterday, we were talking about all the different farming simulation, I'm not saying farming simulator, but farming simulation games, quote unquote, farming simulation games that are there. And somebody came in and said, oh, well, you guys find simulators entertaining? And then we kind of, it, it went, it went from there that I asked my community, oh, why do you guys play it? And they asked the same. And it's interesting because a lot of them are, especially with farming, because farming is such a calm and relaxing game. Yeah, I, I know that. Uh, when people, when I play farming, I get the same thing. You get people coming in going, this looks really boring. Why do you play it? But they get, they get the same on Euro truck as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, what, they what said the same thing with trucking. Did you just unlock something because there was a pop up? I didn't see yeah, what if you press was. F1 on the map, you can see a bit more oh. of the map now. I can't see why, I can't see your bit yet. Okay, uh, so I am, I am almost at it. You could go, hmm. yeah, you could just drop it there for now and we can figure out what to do later, I guess. Mm -hmm. I will do that before I fuel up. Go back and get a garage trailer. Fully fueled. That is funny. <laughs> That's very interesting. That's an interesting concept. I had no idea. Yeah, I was saying to you earlier that I got... I, I was simming without realizing it. Mm. I when I had my Atari ST because I was playing Jeff Cameron's racing Jeff Cameron's Grand Prix and um, what was the actual flight sim I was playing back then I'm trying to remember the name of it my my first one well my first first flying anything I remember to this day because the music is I, I still think of it is Aces Over Europe Oh yeah, <laughs> that was my first one, and that was back on the C sixty four. Will you detach, please? Thank you. Okay, so once it's detached, it doesn't do anything anymore. It doesn't repair or refuel. That's kind of oh, what I figured. Well, you can't even pull up next to it and get a refuel. Nope. That's so interesting. That kind of. That sucks. So basically that vehicle is only a mobile garage when that vehicle is attached to it. Mm -hmm. 
Now you know what I'm starting to wonder. I I feel like we should drag it up to a to a garage point. Maybe it does indeed hold garage points on top of everything else. Hopefully, otherwise I'm gonna be branded. Oh boy, the garage is far far away for me. But there is a fuel station on the way, so that's good. Well, if you go back and get a garage trailer, you can refuel on the way to me. I can do that, yes. And I just leave that thing there. Because it yeah. just drags me down. I'll have to collect it later, I guess. Mm -hmm. So you said... I'm trying to find a good place to cross here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would say I come and help you, but I'm kind of... At this point... Let's let's see how the fuel mileage is now. Oh, look at that. Now it's right on par with the smart car. Well, I made it through the water, but it's a lot deeper than it shows on the map. <laughs> Crikey. So you think our little jeeps would have been done at this point? Uh, yeah, that would have been pretty tricky. I, th I think this truck is a better vehicle overall for what we're doing on this map, because I don't think there's many roads on this map. I think more or less everything is dirt. Mm-hmm. Okay, so where are you? You're I will say, on your way. you, you know how there is this... Well, the one with that square... D, D something, I forgot what the exact type is, but it has this, this really square um, and flat cab on it. Looks pretty much like one of those those rocket tractors as well. Um, it seems to me almost like the running gear is the same on this truck. They just put a different cab on it because it doesn't <laughs> like to go acr around corners no matter what you do. Well, it is possible they borrowed some some engine configuration, mm. transmission configuration from another truck. Tweaked it slightly. It's definitely faster going this way, much for sure. Okay, I'm gonna... 220 meters, that's doable. They do appear to, just coming back to what you said earlier, there do appear to be a lot of farming games coming out. Mm -hmm. It's almost like, I don't know, a bunch of companies just said, it looks like they've got the, the, the market cornered, we need to make some competition, and then just a bunch of people all at the same time made farming games. Yeah, what I think is very interesting is that they are all very similar with their ideas. Like, even like if you look at Farmer's Dynasty and, and, and pure farming with this whole thing, oh, you have a rundown farm and you have to bring it back up and stuff like that. Yeah. Speaking of Farmer's Dynasty, I don't know if you heard it, but they won the DMCA claim. I didn't hear about the DMCA claim. What was, what was the problem? Oh, uh, well, they were off Steam for... Oh, the better part of two months. Oh, really? I yep. didn't know that. I don't Co play, you see. The competition uh, filed a DMCA. Saying? Saying that they stole the concept. They <laughs> didn't say what concept exactly, but how many concepts are there in farming is the question. And that was pretty much why they won. <laughs> so I, I guess Valve had to pull it until the claim was sorted out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, as soon as, apparently, uh, and I never knew that before, really. I mean, it kind of seems logic now that I think about it, but uh, logical. But uh, apparently, as soon as a DMCA claim is filed, Valve has to pull it. So, yeah. if you think about it, if somebody plays his cards right and there's only a small little developer on the other end, you can corner the, the competition in a hurry with that. Yeah, I mean, there is certainly cases of DMCA abuse going on. Um, thing is, nobody really forgets it, you know, when, when you abuse your DMCA. Yeah, that's true. Do you know who filed it? 
Um, well, they said who doesn't, or who didn't, and it wasn't Giants, and it wasn't the guys from, uh, from, um, uh, in our master brain, uh, the ones that do the, oh, for crying out loud, what's it, which one is that other one, uh, Because I'm trying to think which game w is similar enough. Well, to be honest with you, and I, I, I was saying that the other day on a stream too, and I don't know it, so don't take my don't take it as as uh, now as the written law. But the only ones that I think of would be pure farming because they have very similar idea with or oh, different farms and and and. Uh, doing this whole thing of rebuilding an old farm from the scratch. That's the only one that I can think of. Yeah. I don't know okay. if it's true or not, but just I'm by sure the power of, of deduction. <laughs> That's what okay, I'm, I'm almost at the garage now. I just hooked up to the trailer. I wonder if I can hook that second trailer to it. That would be kind of sweet. make a convoy garage trailer convoy <laughs> okay I'm on my way okay I'm at the garage more garage points required to access this garage how many did you drag up there all of none I didn't take, I didn't take any <laughs> I'm not really sure where I was supposed to get them from I'm on my way. There is, there was a garage trailer behind this one parked. As I'm hooking up to mine, it was visible. Yeah, but I couldn't work out how to attach it. Like, it didn't look like I had an articulation on it. Like, I reversed up to it and saw the black dot on it, but I wasn't sure if I could take it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, uh, I actually, I got the, I got it attached to that E-Class. I hope I didn't just waste an entire journey coming here. I mean, I did unlock a few things on the way, but if I could have brought points in and I, and I didn't, that sucks. <laughs> uh, that's all good. With this little trailer, I'm actually making good time. I'm already at the fuel station, fueling up this very second. Yeah, see, for me with simulators, it was a little bit different because... Well, I always liked simulators and I always... Flight sim was, was something that captured me from day one. But with all the other simulators, it really didn't... I don't know, I was heavily into 18 Wheels of Steel when I was still in Europe. And then I came over to Canada and I lived 18 Wheels of Steel in real life. So that's, <laughs> that's when I completely got from, away from computer gaming for a while. And then, as my job changed and I was not driving anymore, um, I looked into Euro Truck. I mean, American Truck Simulator was but a dream at that point. Are you going the right way? I hope so. Because you're going back to where you were. Ah, I took the wrong turn. You gotta be kidding me. No what? Yeah, the fuel station needs to go like via the fuel station more or less. Is the way I went. I mean, if, are you bringing garage points back here? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, let's see. And now I'm going to reverse with a wiggle wagon in the mud. Uh. <laughs> Yay. Is that the garage trailers down the bottom left? Are they the only garage points that we can get? It would appear that way because we don't have any garage unlocked at this point. So So I need to come back and get some, some of those trailers, don't I? Oh no. Don't. Oh. You know. You know what, Paul? I honestly I don't think you're gonna be able to drag those. I just realized something. Oh. Th they are running on metal wheels. Like They're I'm not kidding. On metal wheels. Yes, they the, those are well it looks almost like former Um like, th those are just rims, pretty much. There is no rubber. 
and there is also no articulation except for your except for the actual hitch like the the wheel doesn't turn at all so how are you supposed to get them down to the garage then only with that big e-class everything else is just gonna oh my god that's crazy yeah it looks almost like they took um rail cars to be honest with you looking at it now and welded the hitch to it thing is until we unlock a garage we cannot reconfigure vehicles to take logs so we can't mm -hmm. start delivering logs until we get the garage <laughs> that's right uh, i'm coming i'm i'm coming also how many points have you got in the back of that thing i would assume four i think i mm, can't remember what it said but i think it might need eight yeah so it would need both of them Also, trees? What tree? <laughs> but yeah, I got back into simming with your truck and I didn't for the longest time. I didn't want anything to do with it and then I started playing your truck a little bit with mouse and keyboard, which was really enjoyable. <clears throat> <Yeah>. <laughs> And then I got I, a G27, and that's when everything else is history. I refuse to play mouse and keyboard. The first thing I did when I was playing Euro Truck was go into the attic and dig out my um, Thrustmaster, um, what's it called, a T something. It's like a 30 pound stick, and just used that. It was like the only joystick I had, and I, and I dug it out the attic, and I hadn't used it for about six years. But it was better than mouse and keyboard. Mm hmm. Well, I played, I played farming. I I started playing farming. No, farming simulator was actually the first one that I got into again before even trucking because uh, I played. I don't know if you ever played that tractor simulator, which was not really a simulator. It was only a quote unquote two D game. And then farming simulator 08 came out, and I got into that, but I keyboard catted it for that one, and then. But yeah, once once I got the G27, it was a revelation. Oh yeah, the, the G27 just made a huge difference to my enjoyment of, of trucking. Mm -hmm. It's just night and day. Speaking of which, it's almost night. <laughs> yeah, which means I have to go and get my daughter very quickly. I'm, I'm, so, I'm gonna go here over the river and once I'm over that I will quickly disappear oh boy no hey sorry I didn't mean to cut you off It kind of feels like they've changed the lighting on the truck. It doesn't seem as horribly bloomy anymore. Oh no. That doesn't sound good. Oh. I quick winched to something, didn't realize it, and was going and going and going until... <laughs> There was no going anymore. Are you stuck? No. I just winched to a tree and the tree didn't give and I didn't realize I was winched to it. So I kind of was like like a guard dog running to the end of its leash. <laughs> That's exactly how I would describe it. Oh my goodness. But those trailers, yeah, there is no way you can, you can drag them with anything else but a E-Class truck. Because I'm sure I've probably gone the hard way to this waypoint here, but I'm almost there, and it's going to unlock another chunk of map, which should really help. Mm -hmm. There you go. Oh, nice. That was an effort. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. I'm heading right towards a massive slab of water. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at it right now. 
Yeah, that's. I am completely in the middle of hills and trees and rocks right now. Oh, this, um, this, is, this would be silly. I almost went the hard way. That sounds like something I would do. Yeah, those little scout vehicles, I don't think it would even make it to here. It's um, This thing can crush the trees, whereas the little scout vehicle would just bounce off them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. as we found out twice. Oh boy. Are you across the river yet? Mm, am I? Uh, yes, yes I am. I'm actually at that next Y intersection now towards the garage. Okay. On the middle, there's actually a fuel station up there. Uh, do you want to pause the recording or do you want to just keep going and I catch up? No, we'll stop it there and um, you can come back. Okay. I'll, I'll carry on driving my truck and when you come back we'll carry on. Sounds good. So with that said, I say thank you for watching and God bless.